हैविंग सेड दिस हम आपके साथ ये भी शेयर करना चाहेंगे कि ये जो लोग इसमें एनकाउंटर से मरे उनकी सही पहचान क्या थी और ये पहचान उनकी क्या थी वो आपको बताने के लिए मैं भारत सरकार के उपसचिव जो गृह मंत्रालय के हैं उन्होंने जो एफिडेविट फाइल की है उसमें से कुछ पैराग्राफ्स आपके लिए पढ़ना चाहूँगा उसके पैरा पाँच पान तीन पे लिखा है रिस्पॉन्डेंट नंबर वन दैट इज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फर्दर स्टेट्स दैट इट केम टू द नोटिस ऑफ एजेंसीज ऑफ यूनियन गवर्नमेंट दैट जावेद वॉज इन रेगुलर टच विथ लश्कर तोयबा ऑपरेटिव पर्टिक्यूलरली मोजम्मिल टू कैरी आउट टेररिस्ट एक्शन इन गुजरात टू कैरी आउट टेररिस्ट एक्शन इन गुजरात देन पैरा सेवन गिवस फर्दर डिटेल्स इट सेज दैट इट इज सबमिटेड दैट टू फुली अप्रिशिएट द होल मैटर पर्टिक्यूलरली किलिंग ऑफ इशरत जहान एंड जावेद गुलाम मोहम्मद शेख इन द इम्पंच पोलिस एक्शन इट इज असेंशियल टू लुक एट द बैकग्राउंड एंड लिंकेजेज ऑफ जावेद गुलाम मोहम्मद शेख एंड इशरत जहान द एफिडेविट गोज ऑन गिविंग द लिंकेजेज इट सेज इन सब पैरा वन ऑफ पैरा सेवन दैट जावेद अलियास प्रणेश कुमार पिल्लाई जावेद अलियास प्रणेश कुमार पिल्लाई सन ऑफ गोपीनाथ पिल्लाई वॉज बॉर्न ए हिंदू हु वॉज लेटर कन्वर्टेड टू इस्लाम आफ्टर मैरिज टू वन साजिदा एंड एडोप्टेड द नेम ऑफ जावेद गुलाम मोहम्मद शेख इट फर्दर स्टेट्स फोर क्रिमिनल केसेस वेर रजिस्टर्ड अगेंस्ट हिम इन थाने डिस्ट्रिक्ट महाराष्ट्र बिटवीन 1992 नाइन्टी टू एंड नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट वेन जावेद गुलाम मोहम्मद शेख वॉज रिसाइडिंग इन मुमरा थाने विच इंडिकेट्स हिज क्रिमिनल बैकग्राउंड सो नंबर वन दैट जावेद हैड अ क्रिमिनल बैकग्राउंड दिस फर्दर स्टेट्स that javed alias pranesh had obtained a passport number s514800 yes, s-514800 in the name of mohammed javed gulam sheikh on june 28 1994 on june 28 1994 by rpo mumbai on this passport he traveled to dubai and worked there for considerable period javed obtained another passport so he held more than one passports he obtained another passport number e6624203 e6624203 on september 16 2003 in his earlier name pranesh kumar manaledi tekku gopinathan pillai son of gopinatha pillai from rpo cochin though he had never lived in kerala he obtained another passport despite that he never lived in kerala and his first passport that was issued to him was valid till june 2004 so two violations again you are obtaining another passport holding already a valid passport in the different name and from a different place procuring a passport in hindu name by giving petitioner's address in kerala while not even residing there and being a rowdy character with criminal case registered against him at satra led government of india to believe that he had adequate criminal background of this kind then if i go to para 8 <coughs> it states now we come to ishrat jahan's background on para 8 it states that july 15 2004 
July 15, 2004, that Lahore based Gazwa Times, Lahore based Gazwa, G H A Z W A, Gazwa Times, mouthpiece of Lashkar e Toiba, had said that the veil of Ishrat Jahan, a woman activist of Lashkar e Toiba, was removed by Indian police. and her body was kept with other mujahid dins terrorists on the ground ishrat was with her husband sitting on the front seat of the car this is what let on their website uh, uh, under mouthpiece mentions and these news were carried by uh, a wide sec section of media including the times of india the hindu the indian express and others then coming to the vehicle the government of india's affidavit says that it is evident that javed and israt were activists of the terrorist organization let and and more important the car number mh02 ja4786 mh02 ja4786 was never registered as a taxi was never registered as a taxi then there are references about ishrat schedule which i am not bothering you with which again establish that uh, the mm, details given by her doing the coaching and tuitions do not tally with whatever activity she was preoccupied with para 19 we state go which says it is submitted that para 19 says page 9 it says it is submitted that the union of india in 2004 received specific inputs to suggest that lashkar e toiba had been planning to carry out the terrorist activities in various parts of the country including the state of gujarat including the state of gujarat the answering respondent number 1 Union of India, the answering respondent number one, Union of India, was also aware of the imports that Lashkar-e Toiba was planning to carry out assassination of some top-level national and state leaders. Union of India was also aware of the imports that Lashkar-e Toiba was planning to carry out assassination of some top-level national and state leaders. Lashkar e Toiba in the regard had asked has tasked Lashkar e Toiba in this regard had tasked its India based cadres to monitor their movements Union of India and its agencies were and are regularly sharing such inputs with the state governments including the inputs mentioned in this paragraph so this is this was the inputs given by the government of India now the remaining two persons background i'll read out uh, for your reference which is given in para 20 para 20 reads like this that the two of the persons killed in the police encounter on 15th june 2004 were pakistani nationals and it was known that they were sent by let to carry out terrorist actions in gujarat so this is at rest those of you who are questioning that what were their motives one of the killed let cadre and pak national was amjad ali alias babbar alias salim he was earlier arrested by jammu and kashmir police and he had entered india under express instructions from muzammil for organizing terrorist networks in gujarat and maharashtra so this is specifically focused on gujarat that he has entered india with a clear cut focus and clear cut mandate to organize terrorist networks in gujarat and maharashtra amjad ali alias babbar alias salim was also injured in the encounter with jammu and kashmir police and is learned to have been treated for a bullet injury in delhi in early may 2004 he was treated for a bullet injury in delhi in may 2004 so this this is the background of one person that has been mentioned 
as far as the accompanying uh, people are concerned. So, Amjad Ali was clearly identified as a uh, Park National and the accompanying team also had a clear focus and mandate for organizing terrorist network in the state of Gujarat.